I'm Barry Chandler, founder of Interactive Hospitality. You know me better as the bar blogger. Today we are going to talk about step three in a social media strategy and that is the content strategy. So video number one we talked about setting goals. Video number two we talked about the platforms you need to use, what social media networks are important to your customers. Video number three today right here we're going to talk about what content, what things to post, how often to post, what time of day. We'll start it off right now. Okay. I get asked all the time when's the best time of the day to post. There is no absolute answer for a bar in a restaurant. If you're posting every night at three o'clock in the morning and nobody's responding to any of your posts, they may not be interesting enough, maybe it's the wrong time of the day for your customers. You've got to test that out. We have heard anecdotally from some of our clients that, uh, especially our college bar clients who've got students who are their customers who are in college during the day, it seems to be the best time to hit them because they're sitting there in a lecture and they're on their computer playing around. So maybe that's something that might uh, uh, you might bear in mind. Think about your customers a little bit. Think about what they're doing during the day when you might be posting. Certainly if you post 10 things in a row within five minutes of each other, they're all going to get lost because uh, what if somebody's not there around that time or an hour later? So think about that. But there's no official answer on that. Now, what to post on Facebook, what to post on Twitter. Let me establish something right from the start. Facebook and Twitter are not advertising platforms. They are not there for you to hit the caps lock key and to start typing about your happy hour specials seven days a week. Who cares? Nobody. We don't use social networks to just take your advertising into our lives. We've got enough things that we're seeing every single day and we start to we're just blinkering these things out. Think of the word social media, social. How social are you being? There's a rule called the 80-20 rule that applies to so many things in our lives. In social media, it applies to this. Talk about your business 20% of the time. Talk about community and your customers 80% of the time. When you do that, you're not coming across as a salesman. How can you talk about your community? You can talk about things that are taking place in your area. You can mention the parade that's passing by on a Saturday. You can congratulate another business on an award they won. You can talk about a fashion show that's taking place down the street. You can congratulate one of your customers for their newborn baby. You can do any number of things to talk about community. You won't be short of ideas when it comes to promoting your own business, but start to develop a little repertoire of things you can talk about in your community. Think of that old pub, the old Irish pub a couple of hundred years ago that was the centre of people's lives. It was, it was all people had. That guy who owned that pub, he did everything in the community. He buried you, he sold your house, he sold you groceries, he did absolutely everything and he poured your pint at the same time. He knew everything that was taking place in the community. As a bar owner, social media allows us that, that connection, that deeper relationship with a customer and we should take advantage of that. So talk about your community, talk to your community and have a dialogue going. If it's all one-sided, we've gone into the realm of advertising again, and it's not, it should be social, so go back and forth. So, not an advertising channel, talk about your community, the 80-20 rule. Some examples of things you can post to Facebook. Well, we all love behind the scenes content, we love reality shows, so why not have some uh, videos and photos behind the scenes? Maybe it's in the kitchen, maybe it's of the chef preparing some of the meals, maybe it's uh, the bartenders who are taking delivery of a special uh, spirit or um, a new delivery of beer. So Yingling Lager just came into Ohio for the first time from uh, across the, the, the border in, in um, Philadelphia. So for the first time ever, Yingling was a big deal in Ohio. You couldn't get it in, you couldn't bring it across the borders. So that was an opportunity to take pictures of it being delivered, tapping the first keg of Yingling in the bar. All these different opportunities arose because it was behind the scenes, okay? So get your customers a little closer to you. Don't make them these people that are beyond the counter that you're, you know, you've got this line between. Bring them into your world a little bit more and that deeper relationship is going to, it's going to benefit you when it comes to them making their drinking decision, their dining decision. So think about that very carefully. What else can you post as an example? Introduce new staff members. Uh, take a picture of your staff member preparing a cocktail, preparing a drink, or shoot a little two minute video on your smartphone. Upload it to Facebook and say, come down and see Josh in sidebar 122 tonight. He's gonna to take care of you and make you the best uh, gimlet you've ever had in your life. People come down and say, where's Josh? Oh, I, want to, I want Josh to make my cocktail. So think about that very carefully. Uh, th these are opportunities that are really easy. I worked with a bar owner who was so uh, obsessed with cleanliness in his bar. His kitchens were spotless. The storerooms were spotless. I insisted he take pictures of these and show just how clean under the shelves were in the kitchen, under the shelves in the storerooms. It was so impressive. And if you saw those pictures, you wouldn't think twice about eating in a place like that. So behind the scenes content is good. Replies and comments are another uh, another form of content that you can't ignore. So the, the worst thing you could do would be to create your Facebook page and you're following through my strategy here, my four step strategy, and you create your page and you understand your customers are on Facebook and Twitter, you set up these accounts and you do nothing and you don't reply. 
you have to be prepared for these things to work. If your Facebook page takes off, if your Twitter account takes off, there needs to be somebody there to reply. So I was working with a new bar last week and within, within two or three days of setting up their Twitter account, we had people already uh, tweeting at us. And we didn't even tell them we had a Twitter account. People will find it. And if we weren't there to, to answer their questions, am I open, are you open tonight? What's your specials tonight? We couldn't have answered them. We might have lost a customer. So if you're going to do this, do this properly and make sure you can reply to all of the questions that come in. And if somebody has a nice comment that they post to your Twitter page or your, your Facebook page, be sure and thank them. So think about some of these things when you next go to Twitter, go to Facebook. Think about open-ended questions. If you just put a statement there, don't expect anybody to click like or anybody to comment on it because you haven't asked them to comment on it. But ask them a question. What's the special you'd like to see tomorrow? Who's having a good day today? What did you do for the weekend? Anybody got plans for the weekend? And on and on it goes. When you post open-ended questions, we feel obliged and compelled to answer. So think about that when you look at your page. Go back after this video, look at your Facebook feed, look at your Twitter feed and see what people are posting and see what gets the most interaction. And have a look at other businesses and see how they're getting conversations going. Remember, two-way street, deeper relationships with our customers so that you as a bar or restaurant owner are the first thing they think about when they want to have a drink and they want to get a bite to eat because you've got a relationship with them. So that's my suggestion today in today's video on a content strategy. Final video in the, uh, in the series is on measuring and monetizing. So that's the fourth step in our social media strategy. So that's coming along soon. Until that comes, cheers.